Now that we've scaffolded our UI, we have this calendar that will allow us to cycle through the months and highlight today's date. So far, we've kept all of the development within the single calendar component, which is accepting the current month, which is a date and a function that allows us to set the current month. The first piece I want to look at extracting out into its own component is going to be this month grid. You can see right here, we've kind of just dumped it all in this render function. It'd be nice to have this month grid component that we can pass in our days and have it essentially chunk them out and, and display them in the rows like we have here. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new file here right next to calendar.js and in a month grid. Yes. Make sure we sure we have the tag tag on the ones with top types. types. And we can, and we can begin defining this component. I'll just begin by saying let's define month, month grid. It's going to accept some props, and it's going to return some div here. We'll just give it the class name month grid, and we make sure we export that. We'll export it as our default month grid. We'll pop on over here, and we will now import month grid from month grid. So if, we, so if we head on down to our render function here, I'm going to grab this entire chunk and just paste it in to give us a start here. And what I want to do is just update this to reflect the usage of what I'm aiming for here. So let's update this to be our month grid component. We're not going to need that class name anymore. And I want to be able to just hand this these days right here. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. And let's just start chopping. We're no longer even going to chunk here. I just want to hand this an array here. So these visible dates, we will map directly through those. And this is now going to be a date out of our visible dates array. Make sure we've got it all there. And now we'll start working through the errors. So first we can see that chunk is not defined here. And that's because we haven't imported it. We can import that from our utils right here. And now we can see that we're running into this error of visible dates is not defined. Now I don't want this month grid component to really know what it's rendering. So let's get this out of here. And actually this is going to end up being, let's just call it day element. And what that's going to be is we want to actually chunk through props.children. And we're going to be passing that in again as right here, children is this array that we're mapping through visible dates and creating. So we will chunk that props.children and each of those is going to be a day element, which is what we're rendering right here. Or actually, this is going to be our week chunk. And when we go through our week chunk, this is going to end up being our day element right here. And now that we no longer know about the children, we don't want to use this to generate a key. We can go ahead and just generate one using these indexes for now. I j and we have the i coming from this outer here and we'll add the j from this the index on this map and let's refresh this and see where we're at and we have some errors here let's take a look here we have got a, we need a unique key oh, and that's because when we are mapping here we need to make sure we're providing a key and what we can do right here is just use date to string and this is squawking at us because we're not using our prop types. And I really like to make sure I always define those. Even for something that seems as basic as this, it's nice to come back and be able to make sense of what's required to use this component. So children is actually going to be prop types array. And we'll just make that required. Now we're down to here. We still have a no unused var warning. Oh, and that's because we extracted this out. So now we have this unused import at the top. And now we're down to no errors, no warnings. It's functioning as we had it before. And we now make use of this month grid to get rid of that messy stuff that we had going on here to achieve 
chunking those days into rows of weeks. I want to clean up our structure here a little bit and I want to end up with a new directory and components and name that calendar. I'm going to move this calendar and calendar CSS into there and I want to go ahead in this calendar we had all of our um, month grid CSS in here so let's grab that and let's just get rid of that. We'll see that this kind of falls apart until we add it directly here monthgrid.css and we can begin um, co-locating these which seems a little weird at first but after I started doing this I just really can't go back it, it really uh, helps to co-locate the CSS you know rather than having it off in some obscure location that's separate from JavaScript and I think the natural next step here would be to start extracting this day component as we start building this functionality that we're going to start um, kind of sprinkling in and this logic here that's generating the class name for day so that we end up with just this calendar component that serves as kind of our foundation for, for what we're going to start building on top of.